the last apartment. Tall ceilinged, barrel hinged windows, stained glass, really the one this queer boy wanted to move into. Could the leasing agent have known? As we knocked and then knocked once more, that I had hoped to turn something bitter about myself over in the sunny to open rooms just beyond the door. A moment passed, like the pause before a kiss, and the agent slid her key inside the lock before we heard a rushed holler hitting down the hall. One moment, a man's voice. The leasing agent and I exchanged humorous eyes. We indulged a few whispers. In the excited way I used to stay up late with friends, no one wanting to fall asleep, we each in each other's confidences. Then the tenant issued his embarrassed permission. Come in. Inside, I saw a woman and a man in movie-like dishevel. Bra on the bed, gray sweats. An unattended throb followed the man as he turned from us and we each avoided talking too much, sparing a couple comments on traffic and noise. Now, I think about the tenant's cock often. I think about her in the room, a midday throw about my age, but they seem innocent compared to me. There is a space between my fall down booze driven lust, the way I wipe and wipe at these dark little trinkets of nights with men, look at me out and proud. I'm still a shame filled space. I think his penis is much more pure and deserving than mine. And when I think of this, it barely goes beyond reporting. Still, I took the apartment. 